<laughs> hey y'all, yep, I'm back already. <laughs> but listen, so I was getting this download, and I was just gonna write it down and hit y'all up later, right? But it was like, girl, you here right now? Get this message. And anyway, and the download was: be careful how you treat people when they're going through testing of the fire. Who? Come on now. And that can look different for everybody, right? But it, but the baseline of it is somebody's going through a hard time, a dark night of the soul. You hear me? Somebody's going through a, a time of reflection, a time of coming to a coming to Jesus moment. Come on, spirit, a coming to Jesus moment. Spirit said, "Be careful, laughing and teasing and taunting." You know, people that are going through their spiritual awakening. You may look at it as funny. You may look at it as, oh, they deserve it, right? But let me tell you something. Be very afraid when you're seeing somebody going through the fire. I'm going to tell you why. Because that's a testing. That's a refinement. That's God taking that person and, and taking out the impurities. You hear me? That's God opening somebody's eyes and showing them the people and places and things around them. You hear me? That's a testing of their spirit, and do they trust God? This is going to bring somebody to God. You hear me? I'm telling you this because I said, be careful how you treat people, because that's God refining somebody. So that means God is choosing to, to work on somebody, to mold somebody. But in order to do that, you have to pull out the impurities. And that's what's happening. When we see people going through challenges and trials and tribulations in their life, that's God purifying them. That's God pulling out that bullshit. That's God showing, pulling it out and putting it in right in front of them like, look, this is what's inside. You hear me? This is what's around you. Remove yourself. Okay? And with the be afraid, because let me tell you something. Everybody gets a turn. Now, whether we come out of it, that's the test of your will and your spirit and your and where your loyalty and faith and trust lie. See, God gives us free will, but we all going to be tested. You hear me? So keep laughing at somebody's test. And when they get through it, you're shocked. You're astonished. They're fake. Gee, God ain't really did nothing in their life, right? Until it comes your turn. Like I said, this is regardless. This ain't got to, nothing to do with what you done did in life. But, of course, it all has everything to do with what you've done in life. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying on a personal level. We like to look at it as karma. Sometimes it is. A lot. Most times when we're going through that that uh, spiritual awakening, it's for us to make atonement for our actions in this world. Understand? So if we were out here doing some crazy shit, of course it's going to be hard and fiery when you get there. But we go through. A lot of people get through. I got through, you can get through. But that's your choice. A lot of people don't want to do that work. A lot of people don't want to... Feel and deal with those feelings because it makes you have to look at you, at self. And we don't want to admit we was wrong because such and such did this, so it's their fault. But everything that came after what they did is ours. Anyway, I'm just here to say everybody's going to get a turn. I don't care if you was a pastor, you a pre. Everybody gonna get a turn, and we all know that. Anybody that knows God knows. Don't take it personal. It's a cleansing. You can't come in my house with those dirty shoes on. Spirit, what's this message here? But like I was saying, I just want you to know. Don't think that. Anything you can do with merit for God to overlook anything. 
Nothing. We know we can't get in there through our merit and the things we do. We know that. Ain't nothing we can do to, to, to get his grace and mercy. Nothing. He has to give it to us and we have to be willing to do the work to get it. To accept it. And that, listen. And, you know, and that means being accountable for what we, our actions. And I'm not saying that we all done this bad. Maybe we didn't, you know. Maybe, listen. Either way, it's going to be hard because we have to lose the 3D. We have to lose anything that has the, a connection to mankind. Surrender it. I'm not saying we don't need it. God knows what we need and he will provide. But we cannot be dependent on it. We need to be dependent on him and him alone. You feeling me? And in order for us to get there, we have to go through the, the car wash, the fire, the remolding, reshaping re our minds, all of that. Because we were taught from, from knee high, right? How to act. And we had to conform in order to get along in this world. And some of us just fell right on in and said, yep, this is how it's going to do. And some of us was feeling like, shit, this don't feel right. Ah, yeah, you know who you are. This ain't right. This, I don't think this is because, see, God is in all of us when we come in this world, baby. We came here to do some things, to learn some things, to experience some things, to overcome some things. That's good. All right. Let's see what this message is about. That was for somebody. Don't think, don't think, don't think. Please don't get it messed up that you won't be judgment. So, so to speak. I'm not saying judgment. No, everybody's going to come to a crossroads, right? Where they got to make a decision. And that's going to be between you and God. God, whatever the situation is going to be for you, that's going to be that point in your life where you're going to have to make a decision. Do I want to keep going down this road or am I going to try and trust God? You know what I'm saying? Because if I keep going down this road, it's only going to get worse. I have no protection out here. I cannot believe that anything on this earth is more powerful than God. And everything is seen. When you know that. And you could call him God, you are, whatever. You know what I'm saying? As long as you understand, it's only one. It's only one, the superior, the above all. Thank you, Spirit. Let's do this. Whew. Child, listen. Remember that time is fluid. So whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what's this message? Generous offer. Mm. Now, the morning message was about uh, sacrifices, right? And what I say, God ain't accepting no re-gifted offers, no re-gifted sacrifices, right? This has to come from you, from your works, right? This has to, this has to be something that will affect you. And what can that sacrifice be? Changing your life. Turning your life over to God, that's a sacrifice. You sacrificing the old for the new. And we know the no, the old is important to us because we cling to it so hard, right? It's all we know. So that's a sacrifice. To give it all up and trust God, that's a generous offer. And he will accept it. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> This spirit said, yes, he will accept it. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> this 
Spirit, what's this message? Generous offer. And you know what his, his offer to you? A cleansing of your spirit, a changing of your mind, giving you a higher perspective, changing your heart, your, your surroundings, your life, your light. Come on, come on, talk about coming out of darkness. Child, please. Freedom. When you don't give a shit what nobody thinks about how you dress, how you look, how you talk, what you do. When you don't care because they, it don't matter. They're, they're human. They're supposed to think. They supposed, everybody's supposed to think and have feelings, right? Come on. <laughs> right? We're supposed to have that, right? But their opinions don't matter because who told you? Who you listening to? Who you listening to? Because God says he loves us and we are perfect. You just, you just the, the beautiful little girl that I expected of you. I knew you was going to fall and hurt your knee. We, we do it all the time. Then I, but I told you, stop climbing that tree, Junior. You're going to fall hurt yourself. Stop climbing that tree, Junior. You fall, you break your damn arm. But still, you just so excited. You like the excitement, the rush from climbing that fucking tree. Knowing that one day you might fall out that damn tree and it ain't going to be just a broken arm or a broken leg or a bruised ego. It could be a broken neck. You hear me? Ooh, spirit. Could be, you could get impaled coming down. Freak shit. You feeling me? Stop playing with fate. Stop, tip, stop uh, pulling that trigger. There's a bullet in there. There's a live one in there. And when I say live, I mean on the 3D. Because live means it's present. It's right here, right now, actively, in, in this moment. You keep going like this. Ah, taking another chance and another chance. Somebody needs to seek some counseling or therapy. Mm hmm. Something about the winter. What's this message, Spirit? Please and thank you. This is my sister. Who somebody's dazed and confused? Why are they dazed and confused? Because abundance is near. Hmm. Somebody could be getting a generous offer or something, and somebody's confused by that. Somebody don't understand. Somebody needs to get, yeah, somebody really, really literally feels like they need somebody to explain something to them. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Like, to really explain something to them. Somebody really needs to take a look at the, at themselves, too, with this counseling therapy, because somebody really started to question their thinking. Yes. Hello. Somebody's starting to question their thinking. Mm -hmm. Because now, whatever information they're receiving, it's resonating, but it's going against what they what they already know. Mm, come on, spirit. What's this message? So it's leaving somebody dazed and confused. Mm. Somebody could be going through a spiritual awakening. Hello, abundance is near, generous offer. And when we, I just talked about that offer between you and God, that sacrifice, right? Some This is what I'm thinking. Somebody, some That's resonating with somebody, and it's also confusing them. But see, we already know about confusion, right? That is not from God. That's the devil. The devil's fighting for his life. Ha, ha, ha. In your life. This, this energy is fighting for its space in your life. It's always been they got comfortable in your life. Mm -hmm. Because they know if you sacrifice 
that abundance is going to be near for you. You will come out of this day's confused energy. You'll come out of this lack mentality. You will stop um, creating that bad karmic debt. You will stop working in that energy. You'll start changing your life around. And what, the, what does that do? That starts paying your karmic debt. Thank you, spirit. And then ain't, it, there's no room for it. Because when you when you when you click when you're clearing it out, you're you're pouring you're cleaning out the, the um negative karma so the clean karma is coming in because you know everything that goes out comes back around. So in a little while you be done cleaned it all out if you start now. <laughs> the spirit said, This offer is only on the table. Who come on spirit for a little while? Come on now. The spirit said this offer's only on the table for a little while. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just saying, listen, some folks going to have some regrets. They're going to keep pulling the trigger. Come on, spirit. They want to try it one more time. Ooh, and what was the message this morning? We'll get to Jesus later. We'll put him on the shelf. We'll come back to it, right? We'll, we'll get to it in a minute. Mm, come on now. Come on now. Ooh, this is tying in. <laughs> yeah, this is confirmation from this morning's reading. Y'all go check it out. On my other page. Morning motivational message. This is exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Listen, listen to your intuition. Mm hmm. Yep, somebody's listening to their intuition because something's making sense. Something's making better sense than what the fuck I've been doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something really making sense. <laughs> yeah. Spirit, what's this message? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this one? What's this? Oh, unexpected message. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. Mm-hmm, wasn't expecting to hear that. That's on the bottom. Mirroring. Come on. Come on. Yes. Somebody's starting to see it. Somebody's somebody's being shown who they are. Somebody's being there. Their actions are being reflected back to them. Mm. And now they, they, they're seeing. That's where this day's confusement is coming from. It's like, why is shit happening for me like this? It's because it's the same energy I'm putting out. Somebody seeing that. Spirit, what's this message? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, ego death. Mm. Ego death. Yeah, dazed and confused and ego death. This is because when we when we are skilled in something, I'm hearing master. <laughs> when we're masterful in something, which is something we, we understand, you know, we got a great, you know, understanding of something, you know, we can do this with ease, do this shit with a blindfold, you know what I'm saying? That that gives us an ego. That's a healthy ego. That's healthy, right? This is, is healthy until you abuse it. I'll say that, okay? It's healthy until you use it to manipulate, to hurt others, to, to deprive others, you know, the stuff like that, to get what you want and you're not thinking of other people, you know, you're, you're causing harm, emotional, physically, however, that's, that's another ego, you know, that, then that comes, yeah, that's not even with pride, that's just another ego, that's an abuse of it, right? Abuse of your power, abuse of, you know, you know, you, you guy, you know, you're a, a master and people see you. Yeah, you're the one, you know, when they, you know, and, but you use it to manipulate and stuff like that. Check this out. <sighs> Somebody is seeing something from a different perspective. Somebody's going through a spiritual awakening and they're having an ego death. That means all that shit that they thought they knew, they're finding out it don't mean shit. They're finding out that people were fucking using them. And they didn't even know it because they were so 
See, when you display like a person that has money, always want to display their cars, you know, their jewelry and shit, their job, you know what I'm saying? They wonder why the only people that come towards them is gold diggers. Do you feel you people what I'm throwing down? All right? People are going to eat. People want, you feed people with the hand of money, material shit. That's what they're going to be, that's what you're going to attract. People that are interested in money and material shit. And then you want to have an ego. Oh, you think you're all that because all these people come and come and come and they want you. Honey, listen, somebody's having an ego death. Somebody's realizing they were prideful. Somebody's realizing they were a show off and all they were attracting was greedy, money hungry people. People that don't mind giving them a little bit of butt or some penis, but they wanted the gifts. People weren't loyal. They wanted what you have, what you were willing to share with them. You lead with it. That's what, what to expect. Somebody's getting that. And I'm not just saying that's what the whole everybody's going through. I, that was an example. What are you leading with? Your looks, your body, your money, your job, your car, your home. What? What are you leading with? Come on, spirit. Happy Friday. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> so what? I don't care. Manifest. Listen, what you put out there is those seeds you plant will be the seeds that grow. Manifest some healthy shit, some good shit. Abundance is near, yeah. Somebody wants to, somebody wants to call in better things for themselves, you know, so somebody knows that they got to check themselves at the door now, come on spirit, listen, I can't make it up, self-love, I can't make it up, <laughs> I can't make it up, and God, because you know that's the source, let me just tell you that, now you're realizing that, that, that void you keep trying to fill, you keep, why I can't, I, I'm, I'm showing everybody everything I got, you know, how valuable I valuable I am, how come I can't attract that, attract that person that I want to be loyal to me, because you're not presenting yourself as your authentic self, you're presenting yourself as somebody that looks good on paper, or somebody that look good on social media, what about in real life, you can't because your focus is, look at me, you, well, yeah, that's what it is. And you're getting look at me's. So y'all look at y'all together. Y'all look good together, right? Ain't no love there. Don't ain't nothing growing. What happens when people start subscribing? Or they stop following you? Or they stop liking your shit? Then somebody gonna just slide on over to the next one. That's what's gonna happen. And you wonder why. Listen, let somebody come to you in, in genuine energy. Be yourself. If they don't like you, they ain't for you. Their rejection is God's protection. Keep trying to tell you that. That's why they keep hurting you. Because you don't listen. <laughs> Spirit, what's this message? Ooh, sound like a few things going on here today, huh, y'all? <laughs> what's this message here? Yeah, Spirit, please and thank you. Should I change that? Should I do something else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this, because look, take control. That's right. You better take control of your life, your destiny, your future. <laughs> Listen, eternal love. That's right. This ain't in about the three. This is about when, what happens when, you, when we leave this world. Take control of God. That's the eternal love. He's the only one going to love us. And, and when, when I say as we are, it's because he does love us as we are, but he, can, he will definitely change you. And you will be willing. You will let him. Because he knows what's best for us. He created us. It's like he created a machine. You think he don't know what it needs to run? Just like a car. You ain't no mechanic. 
<laughs> Even the mechanic really ain't no mechanic because they didn't build a damn car. They just know how to fix this or fix that. You have to go to the maker. Come on now. Let me see. What's this message? I don't want to play with no love, oracle, spirit. Uh-uh, I'm going to put these back. I, you know what? Because this is all I seen and looking. It still came out on the bottom. I seen this player, player energy. But nah, I don't want to find me. I mean, look. Love God. Love yourself. I'm into that kind of love today. Learn how to love yourself so that you can treat others better. You treat yourself better. You can treat other people better. And, and in turn, they can treat you better. Because that's the whole goal. We want that to come back full circle, right? Right. Absolutely. Show you right, girl. <laughs> Show you right, girl. Come on now. I want to just close this out real quick. I want, but I want. Mm. You already know. You already know. We're going to keep it upstairs. We're going to keep it on the 15th floor today. Keep it elevated. Spirit, can I get one higher self oracle? Ooh, dang. Let me play with the cards for a little bit. <laughs> Spirit, can I get one high self oracle to close this message? Please and thank you. April 12th. Hmm. Y'all know my birthday coming up, right? <laughs> Man, listen, my birthday coming up. Yes, sir. <laughs> so y'all know, I'm be expecting some gifts, prayers and gifts and love, all that, because that's what I'm giving y'all all the time. Listen, look at that. Look at this, y'all. Let go. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. All right, what's the message from my collective? Let go. All right. Uh, 67. Someone could be born in 67. Somebody could be 67, 76. Take it how it resonates. Somebody could be born in 76. Okay, here we go. Let go. You will find that it is necessary to let things go. Simply for the reason that they are heavy. Whew. So let them go, let go of them. I tie no weights to my ankles. This card brings to the fore the need to let go of someone or something in your life that no longer serve your highest good. There may be a friendship or a relationship that needs to end, but you are still holding on. Mm -hmm. Although it is no longer helpful, in this case, you are asked to let go to make room for something better. Hmm. Listen, and enter your, something better to enter your life. If a relationship has ended, trust that you have learned the lesson from the partnership, from that partnership, and it is time for new lessons to be experienced elsewhere. Remember, the love you shared is never lost in truth. Hmm. Never lost in truth. Ain't that something? If you are holding on to the past out of regret or due to a very painful or life-altering event, your higher self would like you to free yourself by refraining from reliving your past decision or experiences. Let go of shoulda, woulda, coulda. The past has become a dark companion in your life. Wow. What did I say? That familiar, right? Mm-mm-mm. And it is time to leave it where it belongs, in the past. Wow. Unburden yourself by freeing yourself from this attachment, or you will carry it like a malignant tumor, which, it, which will darken and spread in all areas of your life. Kill off everything. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you are experiencing loss in some way, let what is leaving fall away. Everything is always replaced with something replaced at some point in time. Remember when I said when God comes in, we allow him in and he cleans you out and he, and he pulls all that yuck out and then he reshapes you? 
your mind especially that's the first once your mind starts to get reshaped everything else starts to follow it shows it starts to show from the inside out so it don't matter no clothes you don't need none of that because you're gonna shine period that shit those thoughts you're gonna realize damn i didn't need none of that shit you're gonna realize that okay if you are experiencing loss in some way, let what is, leave, what is leaving fall away. Everything is always replaced at some point in time. Keep in mind that your higher self had a plan before your incarnation to take the path and steps necessary for your spiritual evolution. Cycles of loss are included within that very plan. But they are never meant to harm you or impede your growth. Rather, they are placed there to challenge and develop your soul. If you are struggling to let go, complete the detachment. Burning ritual below. I'm not going to do that. But anyway, y'all. There it is. I hope y'all enjoyed the message. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.